yes, I got a letter via the BBC. And I thought, when I saw the university thing, I thought, oh, they want me to open something or something like that. So I was absolutely staggered and delighted when I read that they wanted to give me an honorary doctorate. Well, I enjoyed it very much. I was greatly impressed. It was, it was a far grander, more impressive occasion than I, even than I'd anticipated. It was quite overwhelming. But I was so well looked after. Somebody was there to tell me what to do and manage my stick for me, which is a bit of a pest these days, but I'm better with it. No, it was a, a unique experience. And, uh, of course, I got my little speech hanging over me, which I knew was going to be right at the end. <laughs> sort of grown, you see. When it started, it was a very small little program, sort of totally unimportant. As It was a, something quite new, and uh, we didn't know whether it would run or not. And over the years, it's just snowballed. There were just, I think, uh, ten of us when we started, and now there are well over a hundred characters which uh, is why we don't get so much work. It has to be spread a little more thinly. <laughs> and we were told that this is, this is not a drama production. It's real life overheard. And so we had to be absolutely natural. And uh, it was partly a sort of teaching program. It was to, uh, to help the farmers understand all the bump that was being delivered to them. And... Uh, and to make it easy for them to uh, assimilate. Yes, we have a lot of young listeners now, and hence uh, a lot of young characters. We've got to have young characters, of course, because we olders are going to gradually die off, and uh, there have got to be new, new ones coming up, and that's the secret of, of its long levity. We have had some very dramatic storylines, but then we always have, you see. We've had shootings and prison and all that sort of thing over the years. Um, I suppose more people are listening, so more people are talking about it. Oh, it's quite easy. I mean, I'm Peggy when I go into the studio, and I'm me when I come out. I'm not one of those who, who live the character all the time. They, they are giving her just a little bit of a sense of humour. But she's, I mean, let's face it, she's had a rotten life, you know. She's not had much to laugh about over the years. Especially the funny things, you see. I'm not like Peggy. I, I see the funny side of everything. And so it was all the funny things that came out in my book, apart from the few serious and sad things, of course. I mean, that everybody has sad things in their life. But you have to surmount it. In the case of the Alzheimer's story, um, my husband had already died. And uh, so they asked me, and asked Arnold Peters as well, how we felt about uh, doing the program, doing that storyline. And, uh, of course, I was all for it because I thought, at that time, Alzheimer's was, was something that was brushed under the carpet. People didn't talk about it. And uh, we helped to bring it out in the open. And uh, Alzheimer's Research Trust, they say that that pro part of the program did an enormous amount of good. It all helps, you know, and uh, things like the, uh, the research that this university is doing, it's... It's so encouraging to know that people are trying, people are working at it. It's one of the moments that stands out is, is the death of Jack. Um, because uh, the actor had actually died. And uh, they wanted to uh, do an episode in which Peggy's talking to him on the phone before he's died. And so one of the actors in the program impersonated his voice, and it was quite uncanny. And hearing this voice, knowing that Dennis was dead, um, it, just, it just caught me. It just, we recorded the scene in one take, and... Uh, I managed to sort of hold, hold back my emotions until we'd done the scene, but after that, I, I was no good at all. That was one poignant moment. And another moment, of course, that, uh, that stands out, a very much happier one, is, is Peggy's marriage to Jack. 
and uh, the wedding day and all that went with it was uh, was an amazing day. It was a real wedding, you know. We we had uh, photographs on the steps of all the saints, all in our wedding finery, and then we went into broadcasting house and received the great and the good, um, as if it was a real wedding. We had wedding speeches, we had a wedding cake and wine, and it was really it's just like a wedding. I know it's a corny thing to say, but we are just like a real family. And uh, any, anyone who has a loss or a happy time, the whole lot shares in it, you know. They really care about each other, we really do. And uh, I haven't told them yet about today, but when I do, I know they will be so pleased for me. Mm. I love acting, you see, it's the breath of life to me. and. Uh, I think that's what keeps me going. I just love it. <laughs>